You just got your Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. You want to get the cheapest possible case for it to protect your investment. You go on Amazon, you look for like a clear silicone TPU type of case, and you come across this. It's branded as the Fur Linso case for the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, plus a two pack of screen protectors. Hey guys, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. And if you guys wanna go ahead and buy the screen protector I'm talking about, I'll have links in the description down below. So I just got this case for my S20 FE here in Vietnam. This case was a dollar here in Vietnam. And being that I myself am an Amazon seller, I have an Amazon store, I'm familiar with the way that sourcing of products go and reselling them on Amazon. Now, this is branded as a for, for Illin, so case for the S20 FE. These cases, at least these kind of generic clear TPU cases and a lot of the other cases, they're actually just mass manufactured in China Brands will private label them and then they'll ship them to Amazon. It doesn't make the quality any worse, but for example, here in Vietnam, I might not be able to find the Spigen Tough Armor case for this device, but I can find the same case unbranded for half the price here. And I was looking because I wanted to go ahead and share my experience with the case I'm currently using with you guys in America that have these available on Amazon. And this is what I found, because this is the, the closest possible thing. It's got a thousand reviews, 1200 reviews on Amazon. And I actually think that this case is not that bad for what it's retailing for on Amazon, which is $5 with prime shipping. Uh, you have nice raised edges on the back. You have the corner protection if you drop it on a corner. Uh, there is a little lip, but the cool thing that I actually like about the design of this specific clear case is that the lip of it only extends on the corners, not on the sides. So if you are using the quick swipe gestures on your Samsung device, the lip of the case isn't going to interfere with that. And I have a tempered glass screen protector on here and there's actually, and I'll do a close up for you guys, there's actually no interference between the lip of the screen protector and the lip of the case itself, which is a nice added feature because in the past, I have had cases interfere with screen protectors. Uh, I don't wanna keep this video going on for any longer than I need to be. Cutouts are totally fine and normal, totally accessible. Power cutout on the bottom is a little small for my taste, but it's fine overall. Been using it three days and there's no uh, indication that it's yellowing thus far, although it probably will yellow over time. If you guys are using this case or a case similar to this, let me know what your long-term experience has been in the comment section down below. And until next time, it's been Mitchell. 